Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I have another gel plate technique for you. I am at the end of a project right here. I'm just waiting for this one to dry and then we will pull the print. I used ornate lace strips from PM Artist Studio. So I have one, two, three layers of paint on here right now. And we're gonna go ahead and lift this print using parchment. Okay, well we're going to go ahead and put that in my book. Oops. This is a really fun, easy, easy technique to do. It does take a little time because you're going to want your layers to dry before you go on to the next color. Let's see what we have here. This one looks really, really good. But if we bring you in closer... Isn't that absolutely amazing? I absolutely love this technique and how it picks up colors from previous prints and I think well, I just absolutely love this and we're actually going to do the whole process again because I started you in the ending of this print the reason why I did that is my house is so noisy uh, and now everyone's gone, so I can talk freely and record without you having to listen to saws and drills and hammers and pounding. The first project I did, I used the Tracery Mandela Mask. Which got me... This result but we are gonna go ahead and try another stencil we are going to use rune blocks I have already played with it and they actually come white just so you know <laughs> so we're gonna do the same technique using this mask I'm not gonna clean my plate because I'm gonna want some of this to come up and through the final print if possible I usually like to start out with a darker color, and I really like using that purple I had. So we're going to start out using this purple. It's one of my favorite colors to use on the gel plate, especially for image transfers. All right, so I'm going to use the dune blocks. Now we want to lift up some of that paint. And you just lift whatever paint you want or leave as much paint as you want. It's totally up to you. You know, with this technique, a lot of neat things can happen. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. And we just remove the stencil. And we're going to need to let this dry all the way. Now, this is going to be pretty easy to lay back down for the next color, but if you're using more than one stencil, try to keep track of them. Because if you just take them off and just put them aside, um, they can be kind of hard to line up, so keep track of them. Believe me, I know from experience. <laughs> okay, we're going to let this totally dry, and then we're going to go in with a, another color. Okay, we're going to check to make sure that this is dry, and it is. Now it's time to put the stencil back on. 
And I think I'm going to go in with this light blue. Now I am putting on a good amount of paint only because I want the paint to get inside all of the little openings. See that too? That was lifting up paint using this technique and this right here you could use that for collage papers or something I think that's very pretty matter of fact I should keep that if paper is not doing the trick for you you can always go in with a baby wipe and remove some more of that paint now we'll go ahead and lift the stencil again and yes, it will pull up some of your previous color, but it will leave some there too. Now we need to let this one dry and then we will add another color. All right, this appears to be dry. We're gonna go ahead and line up the stencil again. And I'm going to use pink. All right, that seems dry enough. And I'm gonna go in with this color. So just in case this gives me some really pretty design, I'm gonna put it in my book. Not too bad. I think I wanna remove a little bit more of that paint, I think in certain areas. So we do want to make room for the final color to come through. Now we'll take this one off and let this dry and then we will lift the print. I think it might be dry. Actually, this looks kind of cool. Look at that. I actually really like this. Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh, see, now that's very, very nice. I like that a lot. That makes for quite an interesting piece. Look at all that color. I'll zoom in here so you can see. Look at all that yummy color and that beautiful light green blue came through quite nicely on this one see I didn't think this one would turn out that well but you, you like I said you never know with prints what you're gonna get sometimes you always have an idea in your mind of what you would like to see when you're finished but sometimes you get surprised Okay, well, that's about all I have for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye for now.